Hello? Dude. <sighs> Never fear, we have bookcases. So update 9.2 was a little forcefully shoved into our faces the other day. And the big change is, as you have seen, bookcases. We've got new chapters to unlock in the library with new capstone abilities that mimic the capstone abilities in the university. When you click to browse the bookcase, then you're given that familiar book format. You'll also notice that the archaeology and the League of Nations bookcases have these books on the front with a lock on them. These bookcases have a capstone technology that you can research once you finish the bookcase for a quote, powerful bonus. The archaeology capstone gives a plus 1% bonus to Warhol legendaries. That's fine. The League of Nations capstone reduces the oil cost for law contributions by 15%. It currently costs me 58,000 520 oil to max out my parliament contributions, and this will save me almost 9,000 oil every time, so yeah, it's not a bad perk to have. Now here are the new chapters that we can look forward to. Wait, I, I can't. It doesn't scroll on my iPad? Hello? Hey, so I'm coming back to you guys on my phone where we can actually see everything. I'm going to talk about the chapters, and I'm going to give all of them a grade, reflecting how good I think the chapter is. In the archaeology bookcase, we have advanced reconstruction. This reduces the cost of crafting artifacts once per day. Fully researched, it reduces the fragment cost of the one artifact craft by 10, and the five artifact craft by 50 once per day. And you can get two artifacts per day by watching videos instead of the one. Now the one artifact craft, none of you guys are actually doing that, right? Now if you do a five artifact craft every single day for a year, this will save you a grand total of 18,250 fragments. So this chapter is really long-term savings for all of you daily crafters out there, which I am not one of them. I also never watch the videos to get the free artifact. Maybe I should. Eh, C. Renovations. This reduces the museum upgrade cost and time. Fully researched, it will reduce the museum upgrade cost by 30% and the upgrade time by 20%. That's pretty nice. If my museum weren't already fully upgraded. F. Archives increases museum storage by 10 when fully researched. Increased storage is always a welcome museum boost, so I'll give that an A. Fully researching excavation gives 50% more fragments from winning battles. That is a very nice boost. I am very into that. A. Curation gives 30% faster fragment production rate and 30% more fragment capacity at the museum. This means that a maxed out museum will produce 65 fragments per hour and store a max of 286 fragments. Love it. A. Restoration efficiency reduces the cost of leveling your artifact lines. Fully researched, it reduces food, gold, and oil costs of leveling lines by 5% and reduces blueprint cost of leveling lines by 10%. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. A. Endowments reduces the cost and time required to unlock new lines in your artifacts. It reduces researchers and benefactors required to unlock artifacts by 5%, reduces supplies required by 10%, and the artifact unlocks 5% faster. Pretty useful, but not as much as the others. B. Private collections is all about netting you more blueprints and fragments when you're selling your artifacts. Fully upgraded, this gives you 20% more fragments and blueprints when selling artifacts. This is another great branch. A. A fully upgraded archaeology bookcase is going to make churning blueprints even more profitable. If I have private collections and restoration efficiency maxed out by the next crafting event, I am probably not going to sleep. I will literally be crafting artifacts until I die. Alright gentlemen, moving on to the League of Nations bookcase. Parliamentary proceedings reduces food and gold cost for parliamentary contributions by 20%. As always, any contribution reduction cost is greatly appreciated. A. A fully unlocked coalition forces will give you 10% more coalition power, and it reduces the cost to upgrade them by 20%. Pretty good. B. 
Defense planning gives you a bunch of random HP buffs to defensive towers in World War, and none of the buffs are that great. C. Trenches again give some HP buffs and a little more trap damage, but honestly there's nothing great here either. C. Strategic reserves. 20% more ruby storage in your command post, and 20% more rubies from war. Given the limited usefulness of rubies, I give it a B. Guided Missiles buffs up various parts of your Missile Silo and Offensive Missile Silo, but honestly there's not much going on here. C. Armored Division buffs armored cars in World War. Wait, come on, let's be honest here, are you, are you using armored cars in World War? <laughs> Can't complain about the Zook upgrades here though, I guess they're probably getting boosted to compensate for all the defensive building boosts in this bookcase. D. Payloads. Now, I'm not a bomber player, so I can't get excited about the bomber buffs here, but oh man, this is looking like a juicy chapter for transport upgrades. I'm giving this chapter a B plus. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing more transport attacks. Gentlemen, this brings me to the end of our new bookcase chapters. Let me know what you think in the comments. Good luck out there, and have fun.